Hey, Tony here. Today I'm gonna to show you all of the purchases that I made during the month of July. Um, July was actually a pretty light month as far as regular releases for me. Um, I did get some Criterion Collection um, items from, uh, from the sale and just a few other odds and ends that I picked up during the month some of the still books. So I thought I'd just go ahead and take time today to show you what all I got during the month of July. I'm just gonna kind of randomly show these. I think these are all the still books that I got or some of them. I did get the Men in Black um, 25th anniversary still book, 4K release, so I thought that was really nice. Um, I got Good Burger still book, which I haven't had a chance to watch yet. Same way with the Bob's Burgers movie. Haven't watched this one yet, but I really do like the way that the still book looks. Um, for the big release for the month, um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, or whatever it was called. I did get the still book. I got the Walmart edition because it had a different 4K slipcover. And I got the Target edition. And just the regular 4K release, which I don't have in front of me for whatever reason. Um, but those are the Doctor Strange films. I got Edge of Tomorrow 4K release, which I still need to check out. I've seen this movie just a couple of times. I saw it when it was in the theater and maybe once since then, but I definitely want to check out the 4K release. Okay, some other ones I got during the month. I got The Witch Second Sight release. Really nice looking hard box set. So looking forward to checking that one out. Um, I got these two editions um, from Synapse Films, I believe, of Tenebrae. So happy to have those. I need to watch those. Um, from Arrow, I got a few titles from Arrow this month. I got The Righteous, which I haven't delved into yet. I got Hell High. I got The Sacred Spirit. I got um, a new Giallo Essentials collection, the Black Box, and I got the Tremors Steelbook release, which I really love the way it, that it looks. I still need to open this one up, do an unwrapping of that. Okay, from um, Eureka, I got Karloff um, in the Universal Terror collection. I got Miami Connection from Umbrella Academy, Hero from 88 Films. I got the Peanut Butter Solution. Um, this right here was from the last Severn sale. That's the only thing I ordered, I believe. No, actually I ordered two things. So I got the Peanut Butter Solution, which finally came in. And I also got the Christopher Lee Collection number two um, to go along with the first one. So happy to have that one. And then I finally received my order for the Beatles Get Back. Um, I got this one from the Disney Movie Club. Um, I've had it ordered for several months. I guess there was de a delay. So I finally received my order for that. Some other still books that I got. I got the Chucky Season 1 um, Zavi Exclusive still book, which I haven't unwrapped yet. We have Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Really nice. I've got Ambulance. Um, 4K steelbook release, which I did an unwrapping of. I've got Angel Heart, which I did an unwrapping of. And then from Screen Factory and Shop Factory, I got um, Species 4K release. And then I got Pompo the Cinephile uh, from the G Kids release. And then I did receive my Halfway to Black Friday um, Vinegar Syndrome titles which I did an unboxing of. So if you'd like to check out that video, I'll just leave it linked instead of going through each of those. Um, the same way with imprint films, I did get a lot of imprint film titles during the month. So definitely check out that um, video that I did for all of those releases if you like to check those out. Some other releases I got, um, I did get a bunch of Kino Lorber um, titles during the month. Um, I got Ants. Tarantulas, The Deadly Cargo, Terror Out of the Sky, Still Justice, Billy Two Hats, A Bill of Divorcement, 
two different versions, two different years that they did this. I don't, I, I forgot the story behind it. But anyway, they filmed these two different ways. Um, I got Marty. I got the Maria Montez and John Hall collection. I got this double feature that has salt and pepper and one more time in it. It's got Sammy Davis Jr. in it. I got the organization and they call me Mr. Tibbs um, double feature. Very happy to have this one in the collection to go along um, with the other Sidney Poitier um, film. I got this film noir, The Dark Side of Cinema number eight, and then the re release for the first um, um, volume, which I'm very happy to have those added to the collection. And I also got I'm Dangerous Tonight. I got Night Gallery Volume 2 or Season 2, which I'm very happy to have. I love Night Gallery. I got the 4K release for Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. And I got the 4K release for The Killing, which I'm very happy to have in the collection. I really enjoy this film. I've seen this one before. I think it's on the Criterion Collection, if I'm not mistaken. Um, speaking of Criterion, some of the Criterion releases that I got during the month, I got Love Jones, Raging Bull um, 4K release, Double, Double Indemnity 4K release, which I really enjoyed, and Brazil. Some other 4K releases I got, I got Red Sonja 4K with a slipcover, along with this beautiful looking still book that I still need to unwrap. I also finally got my The Northman 4K still book release. So very happy to have that one. And also I got my um, Giant 4K release from the UK because it came with a slipcover. I got everything, everywhere, all at once. I got the um, regular Blu-ray release with the slipcover because I do have all the slips for the Blu-ray releases, so I wanted to have that one. And then I got the um, 4K slip, Walmart exclusive, with the um, eyeballs on it. I got a 4K release for The Lost City, which I enjoyed this one, it was fun. And then I also got this 4K release for God Told Me To. Some other regular releases I got, I got Charlotte, which is an, which is an animated film. I don't really know much about it, but I did pick that one up. As you can see, it's a Kino Lorber title. I got Riders of Justice, Safe Men, Basketball, Zero Contact, Off Season. We got a new Paramount Presents release called Rough Cut with Burt Reynolds in it. I got Duel with a slipcover. I got Miami Blues. MVD Rewind, and also I got Desperate Hours. I've seen this film, I really love this one. So very happy to have another edition of this. I think I've got this one on Shot Select, if I'm not mistaken. And then lastly, I got Sequest DSV, the complete series on Blu-ray from Mill Creek, which um, I need to check out because I really do enjoy the, um, I, I do remember enjoying this one on TV when it aired. So those are all of the pickups that I got during the month of July. Like I said, it was a lighter month. If it wouldn't have been for the Criterion Collection sale and for all of these Kino Lorber releases, it would have been a very, very light month. But anyways, very happy to have these added to the collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. And also let me know what some of your favorite um, pickups were during the month of July because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.